the senior bowl is is right around the corner. What kind of an opportunity is that going to be, do you think, to showcase what you can do? I mean, I think it's just, it's a blessing to really have the opportunity, honestly. And um, I'm excited to be there. And I, I think it's just a great opportunity for me to kind of like showcase my talents in a setting with all the scouts there. So, I mean, I think I put some decent film out there. So um, I kind of have uh, a solid baseline, but I think this would be a, a great, great way for me to kind of rise in the draft. So I'm excited to get down there. Yeah, there are so many players, aren't there, who go to Mobile and then have a great week. And then off yeah. the back of that, you just see their stock really elevate. I mean, this is a big, big opportunity for everybody who's going to be competing that week. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm really excited to get down there. So, What are the kind of things you can do to prepare? Because, I, you know, I'm guessing when things like the Combine come around, if it takes place, and there's been a bit of talk about that, a pro day, for example, you know, you, you can work on the drills, you can prepare to, to put on your best physical performance. But when mm. you're going down to do a lot of 1v1 drills, to be coached by NFL staff and, and teams, and then it yeah. all sort of culminates in a game at the end, what can yeah. you do in the days before to make sure that you're in, you know, in the best possible place to impress? Um, I would just say, I mean, you're preparing for a game. So, I mean, it's, it's similar to how you would prepare during the season. Uh, a lot of position work. So it's just kind of similar to preparing for a regular season game. So I think one of the best things about senior bowl is, is those one V one drills between O liners yeah. and D liners. I, you know, for me, mm -hmm. if there's one drill you want to watch for the whole week, cause it's just an observer. Yeah. It, it's those <laughs> drills. That's where a lot of money's made as well. Uh, the yeah. coaches can obviously learn a lot there. Um, what is the key, you know, to, you'll have done a, loads of 1v1 reps during, during your college career, high school career. What, what are the yeah. key things that you think I need to show when I'm coming up against a top offensive tackle, you know, to really, really impress these, these coaches and the scouts that are going to be watching? I mean, I would just say trust my technique. I mean, I wouldn't want to do anything that I haven't, I'm not trying to do anything that I haven't done or try to reinvent the wheel you know I'm, I just want to go out there and show what I can do I think I believe as a player I've shown some some decent plays on tape I would say but um I would just say not reinventing the wheel I mean I've been doing it for a while now so I, I play, played four years in the SEC probably like 40 some games so um I don't think it's very different than playing a college game. So it'll be similar to one-on-ones in practice or just playing at a game. So I'm excited, you know, to just show what I already know how to do pretty much. I'm not trying to go out there and try to do something I've been done because that's how you end up <laughs> putting bad stuff on tape when you try to do something you haven't done. So, um, I, I you know, think just my technique. I think you're going to be a high pick, you know, when you still want to do these mock drafts throughout the year, you know, I've always had you consistently in the top 15. You're obviously an athlete. You've got great size. You know, what, what are your measurements at the moment, you know, in terms of height and weight, where are you at? Um, I'm right under six, six and um, I'm probably about 276 right now. So great size, great athleticism, but you've also got the hand use, haven't you? I mean, how important is it to match up that technique with your hands with the athleticism? No, I mean, technique is everything. I mean, athleticism only takes you so far. Everyone's an athlete at this point. That's why you're here. So, like, technique is what separates you from being good and being great. And really, at some point in your career, your athleticism is going to run out. But what's going to keep you around is how smart of a football player you are and how much technique you have. So that's kind of what I've been taught from my coaches in college and prior. But, like, that's that's basically, I would just say, like, you know, back once again, talking about technique, like, that's... Uh, and how versatile do you think you could be? I mean, when you sort of look at your placing in the NFL, 
are we talking edge five technique could you play inside as well you know how do you how do you see your role so i mean really i can line up anywhere on the d-line uh depending on like how much weight they want me to gain or what exactly they want me to play i can really play anywhere but um i honestly think i'll still move around like especially on third down and obvious pass downs and two minute drills stuff like that um I definitely think I'll move around just because I add like size and also uh, athleticism in the positions you usually wouldn't have it. So definitely in college, I that's what I did in college. Wherever I was needed, I would play. I'm, I might play a game and play every technique on the D-line. I probably did in some games actually, but um, just, um, I would just say, yeah, I can really play anywhere. So it depends what where I go and what, what the team wants me to do, but whatever the team needs me to do, that's what I'm gonna do. So, I mean, but I mean, right now at my weight, I think I'm more size for a five tech, you know, right around there, edge, whatever it is. But um, I definitely can get down to three tech depending on how much weight they want me to gain and win. Cause I've never really had trouble gaining weight, losing weight. So should be, shouldn't be a problem, so. Are there any players currently in the league who you've tried to model your game on, or you've thought, you know what, I could? I've, he's got a similar frame to me. I, I, I'm going to, I'm going to sort of steal a little bit from his tape and try and emulate him. Is there anybody that inspires you in that way? Yeah, no. I mean, I watch everybody in the league because I think everyone has something to offer. So I'm, I'm watching people. Obviously, I know the guys who I'm watching with my body type, but I, I watch those, and then I watch other people like. Uh, that have other size body types that are using different techniques because you never know it's going to work for you. But definitely around my body size, I would say like, I watch like guys with long arms, definitely like Eric Armstead, like DeForest Buckner, uh, Chandler Jones, uh, Demarcus Lawrence, like, and then even older guys like Jason Taylor, like um, really anyone. I just watch really everyone, honestly. But those are some guys that I know that are similar body types to me that move around a lot or like Cam Jordan, you know, just just kind of different rushers that kind of move around a bit on the D-line. It's interesting that you mentioned the arm length there, and I think it's becoming a focus more so. I think maybe people outside of the NFL are aware of, of how important that arm length is now. Do you have an yeah. idea of, you know, how long your arms are in terms of inches? And yeah, your they're wingspan? about like, uh, my wingspan is like 85 something or like almost 86 i think and then my arms are like thir almost 36 inches so great length that's what they're looking for i'm also looking at these stats dio you know eight, eight tfls five and a half sacks nine quarterback hurries second team all sec perhaps not the season that vanderbilt wanted but on a personal level were you really satisfied because those are those are good numbers aren't they for a season that has been disrupted by a global pandemic I mean, yeah, I mean, it was a tough season for everyone. Uh, but, um, I mean, I, I never say I was satisfied because, honestly, I'd never be satisfied. But uh, I definitely feel like I left stuff on the table, but it is what it is. I think I put myself in a, a solid position uh, as of right now. And I, I personally know the type of player I am, and I think I haven't even like, put my best stuff on tape, not even close to it. So, like um, – I mean, I still have a lot to show, but I think I put myself in a decent position at least to get drafted and uh, at a decent place. So, um, yeah, I'm just excited to get to this process, especially like the senior bowl and the combine. So, or whatever it looks like, pro day, whatever. So, so I want to share the screen here. I think one of the things that, um, you know, I, I don't know if you can see this, but, um, you know, one of the things that, well, that, teams will always do is they'll want to see you against you know the, the quality opponents that you have faced in the SEC and I don't think it, it gets any better really than LSU last year and you know when you stick on the tape and and you can see you're here chasing down Joe Burrow now that was one of only six interceptions that Joe Burrow had last year he didn't have too many picks and the only reason he throws this interception is because you you're putting the fear of God into him here. You know, he can sense this. He's forcing it. 
he's he's throwing it up there and he's having a, is he having a little word with you there afterwards as well i mean what was he what was he in your ear what's he saying after he's uh, <laughs> after he's thrown this interception yeah he he wasn't the happiest about me pushing him out of bounds but i mean it is what it, i mean he was in bounds when i pushed him i thought it was fair apparently he didn't i mean i, I it wasn't nothing against him. I was just trying to make a play, so I don't know. But it is what it is. I, I just think, you know, given the, the size you've got here, it's just going to rewind this a little bit so we can see a bit more of this. You know, your ability to operate in space, you close very quickly, don't you? I, I, I see that you like a celebration as well. You know, when you get a – I mean, there's a big play. You often enjoy those big plays as well. <laughs> and, and, and this one here, so this is Jake – I think this is Jake from who you're going to level in a second. Um, yeah. We get a better view of this this little shot here, I think, in a second when he it, it's from like the old twenty two or something. He's 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 letting you know as well, isn't he? He's saying thanks to the hit there. <laughs> when you come round here to stunt and absolutely plant him into the ground, I mean, have you got something against big name quarterbacks? <laughs> no, I mean, I'm just trying to make big plays in big games. You know, when you get to play the best competition, you got to play your best. So that's that's and, what I was trying to do <laughs> and, and I think the good thing here is you know on the, on the one hand you can see you know your, your ability to stunt here you know, there aren't many guys your size that can move with that fluidity but then on yeah. this one here you know you're coming off the edge the way that you dip around that tackle and, and here we've got it here I mean that's that's some Von Miller stuff there isn't it I mean that you know <laughs> for again for a guy who is you're saying what about 275 I mean that's it's it's not it's not usual, is it, for a guy with that size to be able to dip and bend around the arc like that? I mean, is is, is that something yeah. that you're going to bring as well when you get to the next level? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, like I said, I I, I absolutely believe I can rush at any any position at the on the defensive line. Not only rushing, but run defend. So like. Uh, I mean, obviously, pass rush is what everyone wants to hear, but like run defenses, especially in the SEC, is a big thing. And I've played against the best O linemen, top four O linemen, you know, first round O linemen, whatever it is, Andrew Thomas, whoever it is. I played against them all, you know, for four years. I don't think, I don't know how many guys in the draft have played more games than me, but it's not many because, but, um, yeah, like I said, it's just uh, playing that run defense is just as important as rushing the passer, and I think kind of gets neglected, especially in like the media, at least. But I know like NFL teams definitely pay attention, and uh, I can play the run, and I I enjoy playing the run. So. Um, but yeah, like I said, rush getting after the passer, I can bend around the edge. I can rush in a three tech. I can rush over the center. I can go to power. Whatever it looks like, I can do it. So, and, and this sort of play, I think this is the last one here. You know, it, it seems that they've tried to put a running back, uh, you know, just to chip a little bit off the edge. I don't think he fancied any of that. Um, so, you know, you could jolt to the tackle. I mean, that's a mismatch there, isn't it? And then you get after the quarterback here and bring him down. At, and and again, you know, it's if that was a running play, you know, you're setting the edge. Your hand placement's good. You've sort of kept your left arm free, haven't you? There. I mean, you can work with that. You, that 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 is what teams are are looking for from their from their edge players, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. No, definitely. I mean, especially when you see like a a quarterback movement play like that, where he's rolling out of the pocket. You got to get to the edge and get cut him off, so he can't. He doesn't have time to to. Uh, a lot of quarterbacks like that, you know, that are moving around these days, aren't there? I was, yeah. We've sort yeah. of seen that in the playoffs at the moment. So, you know, a, a great skill set there. I think it's shown. It's just a few clips. But, you know, if you head on to YouTube, there's plenty of, of examples of what you are capable of. I just wanted as well, you know, we want to get to know you a little bit when we have these conversations. You were telling me just before we started that your dad's from, from Liverpool, um, which yeah. I think is amazing. You know, as a, as a British guy myself, I'm instantly going to have to root for you for the rest of your career now. Um, but you know, what, what do you like to do? You know, what, what do you get up to in your free time when, when it's not football, you know, what are your, what are your interests? What do you get up to? Um, I really, I really don't play video games. So I'm not big into video games. I'm more like just 
really watch football is kind of what I do. I mean, especially right now and like throughout college, I've spent most of my time watching football. I mean, I enjoy cooking, so I watch some cooking shows like Chopped. I watch some Chopped, like some Netflix shows, but I really don't do much outside of football. <laughs> do you do you have a team that you you know grew up following maybe in the NFL? Yeah, yeah, I'm a Cowboys fan. A Cowboys so. fan, right? Okay. <laughs> I'm still a Cowboys fan. But... <laughs> well, but, maybe, um, you never know. Maybe you'll get your uh, maybe you'll get your dream pick uh, down the line. They're picking pretty early, aren't they? So yeah, they sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I, I also want to, you know, we don't know whether there's going to be a combine or not. I mean, it, I hope that there is because it, mm-hmm. it just it's it's great to watch it and it's great to sort of learn. You get a lot of information from a combine, even just as a as someone who's watching it in the media, have you got any expectations on what you would be able to do? And, 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 you know, the kind of some of the tests that you'd be doing just in case it doesn't take place, we've got an idea of what your athletic potential is. I mean, I really don't want to put a number out there right now because I'm not sure. I mean, I've run a 40 before in college, like my sophomore year of college and it was, it was solid, but I think I, I think I'll be faster than that at the at the combine, so or whatever it looks like pro day. I mean, I don't know. I think there will be some way that they verify times in some fashion. So I'm not sure what it'll look like if it's a combine or whatever it is. But from a player's perspective, do you hope that it happens? And, and yeah, I do absolutely hope that it happens. I think for them, I mean, I think most people do because. Um, I mean, it's kind of like everyone's dream to kind of go to the combine and be invited to the combine and go run your 40, you know what I'm saying? So, like, that's always been something I've watched, you know, growing up. So, I definitely hope it happens at least. But if it doesn't, I still find a way to have a time out there. So, Well, Guy, it's been a pleasure speaking to you. I really appreciate your time. The best of luck with this process. I hope you have a great senior ball. We're going to be watching you. Uh, in Mobile, and I hope it goes perfectly well. Hope they get a combine for you so you can get there and perform as well. And the best of yeah. luck with your NFL career. Thank you. I appreciate you, man.